Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make a mini rechargeable LED light. In this project, I am going to use parts of a broken LED tube light just like this one and other scrap materials I have collected from many broken things. This SMD LED strip belongs to another broken LED tube light. The tube light was broken but the strip is good. I have cut a small piece of the LED strip with 15 LEDs. This LED strip can't be used as is. Since all the LEDs are in series, I need to modify it first. I'll use my DIY rotary carver to modify the LED strip, changing the connections from series to parallel. I am using the rotary carver because I have it, but this can easily be done with a knife, screwdriver or a similar tool. Warning: This project involves tools like a soldering iron and a lithium ion battery, both of which can be extremely dangerous, even life-threatening if not handled properly. If you are not experienced with this, please do not attempt this. Stay safe. Here you can see where I have cut the series connections and stripped the top layer of the copper traces for soldering. Applying paste flux with my DIY X-Acto knife made from an old hexo blade. Want to know how I made it? Check out the video on my channel. Here I am applying solder to the copper traces. I'll use this laminated copper wire to connect all LED positives to one copper strip and all negatives to another. Here it is done. I have also added a red wire to the positive terminal and a black wire to the negative to power the strip. This is a USB-C female connector salvaged from a broken wireless earbud case. And here is a TP4056 lithium ion battery charging module. I am using it to make the project safe. Its old micro USB connector is broken so I will replace it with the USB-C connector. Here you can see the connector attached to the charging module. I have only connected the power wires since the data lines are unnecessary for this project. I am going to attach the charging module to this side cover. But first I need to modify it and make holes for the charging connector and charging status indicators. Going to replace the module's charging status LEDs with these two. Here you can see the module and the red and green LEDs neatly attached. I made a hole and added an SPST switch to the cover on the other side. A18650 cell salvaged from a broken ACDC emergency bulb is now attached to the module. Health wise this battery is in very good condition. Replace the red wire with a laminated copper wire since it was not long enough. Done. Now it's time to pack everything up. I will connect the modules output to the LED strip, negative through a 3.2 ohms resistor and positive through the SPST switch. Guys, if you enjoyed this project, please subscribe. This will take a lot of time and effort and your support truly really motivates me. Don't forget to comment and share the video.